Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Wednesday, September 4. Katie gets tired of Billy ignoring her. Phyllis triggers Sharon. Chance wants to take over Chancellor. The Young and the Restless. I and R. Spoilers are ready for an interesting character-building episode on Wednesday, September 4. It looks like things won't be going well with Abbott Chancellor as Billy Abbott, Jason Thompson, will be overworked. He's taking it in stride, but Katie Newman, Sienna Mercury, won't care about he company. She just wants to spend time with her dad. Things should get even more interesting when Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, approaches Billy about an idea he has. Could he want to take over the company or run it with Billy? Sharon Newman, Sharon Case will be triggered by Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, visiting Faith Newman, Raylan Castor, with Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby, Eving her on, will Sharon take matters into her own hands? The young and the restless spoilers expect Billy to have a difficult time transitioning after taking over Abbott Chancellor. The main issue is now he's doing everything himself instead of sharing the load. When he and Katie have lunch, she'll grow impatient with him always being interrupted. They'll try to help her understand by explaining someday she'll inherit a powerful company, but she doesn't care. She wants to spend time with him. It won't quite be a wake-up call, but it'll set Billy up for his return to the office, where Chance will be waiting for him. We're curious what Chance's idea will be, but he'll tell Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, that he has a plan. He could be wanting to quit, take over, or join Billy at the top, or maybe advocate for Lily Winters, Crystal Collil, to be brought back. He could end up being the ally Billy needs if he can earn Billy's trust. With Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow's approval, Phyllis will pay Faith a visit at the hospital. Sharon won't like it, most likely since she's a threat to her own future with Nick. Things will really get interesting when Phyllis tells Faith neither she now Lucy are to blame for the accident. Things like that happen. Cameron will choose them to appear and tell Sharon she knows the truth and the guilty must pay. We doubt the show will make Sharon into a psychotic murderer, but stranger things have happened. Since she's refusing to take her medicine and lying about it, could she become like Cameron? Let us know in the comments below and check back with the young and the restless spoilers for the latest updates, spoilers, and speculation around. On the young and the restless for Wednesday, September 4, the emotional stakes in Geno City continue to climb as relationships buckle under tension, old rivalries flare, and a power struggle begins to surface within Chancellor Industries. The drama kicks off with Katie's mounting frustration with her father, Billy, who seems increasingly distant. Meanwhile, Phyllis is at her best, or worst, as she manages to trigger Sharon yet again, while Chance reveals a bold ambition that could send shockwaves through Chancellor Industries. Katie reaches her breaking point. Katie Abbott, the sweet yet perceptive daughter of Billy Abbott and Victoria Newman, has always been able to sense when something is wrong. Lately, she's been growing more and more frustrated by Billy's behavior. Since his split from Lily, Billy has been consumed by his usual demons, work, personal turmoil, and his endless battles with himself. He's made promises to Katie, but each time they seem to fall by the wayside as his attention is elsewhere. On this day, Katie finds herself alone again, waiting for her dad to show up for their scheduled lunch at society. She checks her phone, hoping to see a message or a call from Billy, but there's nothing. Instead of the familiar disappointment, something inside Katie shifts— She's no longer the little girl who idolizes her dad no matter what. She's hurt and tired of being ignored. When Victoria steps in, trying to comfort Katie, it's clear that even she can't deny Billy's absentee behavior anymore. Victoria has always been a strong advocate for Billy's role in his children's lives, but lately even she's struggling to keep defending him. Katie, on the verge of tears, looks up at her mother and says, When is dad going to stop forgetting about me? Does he even care? It's a heartbreaking moment for Victoria, who realizes that her daughter's faith in Billy is crumbling, and she may no longer be able to patch things up between them. The disappointment in Katie's eyes serves as a wake-up call, not just for Billy if he ever pays attention, but for Victoria, who must now decide whether to intervene in a more significant way. Phyllis Pushes Sharon's Buttons Meanwhile, Phyllis Summers has never been one to shy away from a confrontation, especially when Sharon Newman is involved. 
The two women have a long and storied history, and despite moments of attempted peace, they always seem to revert to their natural state of animosity. Sharon, still dealing with the fallout of her personal life, is at Crimson Lights, trying to focus on the tasks at hand. The last thing she needs is a run-in with Phyllis, but of course, fate, or perhaps Phyllis herself, has other plans. Phyllis breezes in with her usual air of confidence, her eyes immediately locking onto Sharon. With a smirk, she saunters up to the counter, already knowing that her mere presence will irk Sharon. Well, well, look who's playing the role of the good little barista again, Phyllis quips, her tone dripping with condescension. Sharon, taking a deep breath, tries to ignore the jab, focusing on the coffee machine. But Phyllis, being Phyllis, doesn't stop. Must be nice to retreat into this little bubble. I suppose it's easier to pretend you're not part of the bigger mess out there. Sharon finally snaps. What is your problem, Phyllis? Do you ever get tired of stirring the pot just for the sake of it? Phyllis leans in slightly, her smile widening. No, Sharon, I don't. I enjoy reminding you of who you really are. You like to pretend you're above it all, but we both know the truth. You've made just as many mistakes as the rest of us, if not more. The exchange grows more heated, which Sharon visibly rattled. Phyllis knows exactly how to push her buttons, and today, she's getting a full reaction. As the tension between them escalates, it's clear that whatever fragile truce they might have had is long gone. Sharon's hands shake as she slams a cup down on the counter. Get out, Phyllis. Before I do something we'll both regret. Phyllis, pleased with herself, saunters off, her work for the day done. She may have left Sharon fuming, but the damage she's caused could have a lasting impact, especially if Sharon starts unraveling further in the days to come. Chance eyes the CEO seat at Chancellor. Across town, Chance Chancellor is having a very different kind of day. Ever since Jill offered the CEO position at Chancellor Industries to his mother, Nina Webster, it's been at the back of his mind. Chance loves and respects his mother, but he knows she isn't particularly interested in running a corporation. She's made that clear, and despite her wealth of experience, she'd rather stay focused on her creative work. Chance, however, has different ambitions. He's been biding his time, waiting for the right moment to reveal his plans, but today he's ready to step out of the shadows. Meeting with his grandmother, Jill, at the Chancellor Mansion, Chance wastes no time in making his intentions known. Grandmother, I think it's time I took a more active role at Chancellor. I want to step in as CEO. Jill, ever the shrewd businesswoman, raises an eyebrow. That's quite the proposal, Chance. What makes you think you're ready for such a responsibility? Chance leans forward, his expression serious. I've spent years working in different fields, gathering experience. I know Chancellor from the inside out, and I have the drive to take it to the next level. This company means everything to our family, and I'm not going to let it flounder. I'm the right person to lead it. Jill studies him for a long moment, clearly weighing her options. She's always admired Chance's tenacity, but running Chancellor isn't a job she hands over lightly. It's not just about wanting it, Chance. It's about proving you can handle it. I'm ready to prove it, he says confidently. Just give me the chance. The conversation leaves Jill considering her options. If she gives Chance the green light, it could mean big changes for the company and the family dynamics. But one thing is certain, Chance is done waiting in the wings. He's ready to take control and he's not going to back down. What's next? As the day draws to a close in Geno City, tensions simmer and relationships face the strain. Katie's heartbreak over Billy's neglect may push her closer to Victoria, but it could also signal a more significant shift in Billy's role as a father. Phyllis has successfully reignited her feud with Sharon, and the fallout could be explosive. Meanwhile, Chance's ambitions may set off a power struggle within the Chancellor family as he steps into the spotlight with his eyes on the prize. It's another day of twists and turns, and in true young and the restless fashion, the drama is just beginning.